So how's everyone doing? We doing okay? If you don't know me, I'm Michelle. This is Angel Souls. We talk about spiritual wellness, all things angels, things going on in the world from a spiritual context. There's an ongoing battle with my hair. Uh, so those are all the things that you should know about me if you're going to be here. The other thing you need to know about me, it is January 16th. I still have my Christmas tree up. And, and that's it. And we have so many things happening here in 2024. <sighs> so what I always do on a weekly basis is I put up videos and I sit down, I tune in with angels and archangels. I deliver any messages that you need to hear directly to you. Okay. Now I do have some new things coming up this week. I will be making those announcements soon. So please make sure that you are subscribed. You're checking out my community tab if you want to know what's going on around that. So what else do we got to cover? Personal readings. You know, last week, and I encourage you to go back and watch the first part of last week's video. I thought I was pretty clear. <laughs> I, I think I spent like 20 minutes going through how to get a personal reading with me or a course with me. And it somehow has made more confusion. So let me, let me try it again this week. First of all, allow about, I would say 15 minutes per one question. Okay. So keep that in mind. If you are doing a live session, obviously you're on live with me. You're going to have follow-up questions. You may spend a few minutes in the beginning asking your question. So you'll want to book more time depending on how many questions you have. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. This is why, if you guys have followed me for a very long time, I used to have a 15 minute reading option. And I swear to you, literally the worst case I think I ever had was a, a guy who came and got a 15 minute reading, had 21 questions and he was a jerk. I don't know how else to put it. He was just a jerk. And in the email, because back then you would email me. Now there's a submission form. Um, but he said, uh, I want you to use this deck and you're going to read this way. And I want in-depth answers to each one of my questions. Do not just glaze over. And he got a 15 minute reading. Okay. So that's why I don't offer that anymore. But now that I'm doing live sessions more consistently, please keep that in mind. Okay. Also, please keep in mind what kind of medium I am. I am an angelic medium. I'm not talking to your dead loved ones. Okay. Sometimes they can come through, but that's not the type of mediumship I do. There are other people who do that. All right. So this is more about angelic messaging. Again, angels can give you messages sometimes from your loved ones, but it's so hit or miss. It's, it's really with, when you're dealing with angels, uh, they're going to be extremely courteous, let's say, <laughs> and ethical about, you know, bringing those souls forward. And what I mean by that is if it's going to prolong your grief, if it's not going to be very healing for you, or some people are asking for very shallow readings, like where's that inheritance? I kid you not. Or if it's not in the other soul's best interest to come forward, then they're not going, going to allow that. And if you have some sort of issue with that, or you think, well, that means you're not blah, blah, blah. There are people who do that, who are amazing at doing that. Those are the types of readers that you should go to if you want to communicate with people on the other side. Okay. So I just want to make that distinction there. Now, as far as booking, let's start with live sessions, live sessions, one-on-one -on, -one, on Zoom. You have to be ready to use Zoom. Okay. You email me. If you want a live session, you email me angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Okay. For readings and most of the courses, the exception would be the angel mediumship courses, the readings, 30 minutes, it's $130 per 30 minutes for a live reading. If you want the courses, the courses are one hour, except, well, the pricing for that one hour for most of the courses is $260. Okay. No, you can't get a 30 minute course. Courses are one hour. Then there's the angel mediumship course. There's four courses that you can get at once, or you can get them individually. Those are $300 per one hour session. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Now, if you want to get one of those sessions, we're not there. And here's why I'm saying this. I want to explain this. And I, I think it's okay to spend some time here in the beginning of each week 
going over this because I think it illustrates the mentality of people out there. <laughs> Shows where we are and that's okay. No hate. Just, I'm just saying. If you want to get a reading, I'm not going to go back and forth anymore trying to set settle on a date and a time and then people don't pay. Why are people doing that? Because they want my attention. They just want attention. And they had no intention of ever booking something with me and I just wasted a ton of time. And way back when I first started offering this, I was holding spots for people. We're not doing that anymore. If, especially since I'm going through this so thoroughly, right? But how to do this. When you email me for a live session, I should see a payment come through. Okay. I know that. I know what that's not. And I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that at all. But dang. Okay. Like we've got to do something here. It's out of control. Okay. So <laughs> you submit your payment via PayPal, Stripe, or Zelle. Okay. To angelsouls444 at gmail.com. You submit your payment. You make sure that you ha you book the amount of time that you're going to want. Okay. And then you reach out to me. Or you can reach out, you can reach out to me first and be like, hey, I'm going to book this, blah, blah, blah. And then make sure you arrange the payment. I just gave you all the instructions. And then please let me know what days and times work for you and what time zone you're in. Please keep in mind that I am in Eastern time zone. People in Australia, um, I don't know how your time zones work. So help me with that. <laughs> okay. I think I know, but I'm not 100%. So if you're in Australia and you're booking with me. Yes, we can arrange that. Um, I know it gets a little tricky, but I have lots of clients in Australia. I have clients in Japan. We make it work. Okay. I have clients all over the world. We'll figure it out. Okay. So there is that part. What else should I tell you? This standard reading. So my standard, my version of standard reading is basically you go to my website. Those are the standard readings. Okay. You go to my website, you pick how much time you want, you submit you know, the form. And that's what the submission form is for. It's wild to me that people are going there to try to book a live reading. No, because if it goes into the submission form, I may not see it. I know this isn't the best system. Um, I know it gets confusing, but please trust me when I say this is how, at least for now, I have to do things on my end. All right. Again, I know it's not great, but bear with me here. <laughs> so standard readings, which is you, you pick your time, you pay for it, you uh, put in the submission form your questions. I make, I do the service. It is a service, right? And then I deliver it via MP3 because that's the format most people can still figure out for the most part. And that's it. That's how you get it. So there's no time commitment on your part. Now, when you get those or when you sign up for any service of mine, you are agreeing to all the terms. Okay. So please keep that in mind. Uh, and I guess that's it. If there are things that, you know, that I'm saying in each week and it doesn't make sense on how it's done, especially with the services, comment down below, let me know, and let me see if I can put it a different way so it makes sense. Does that feel, feel fair? Okay. Let's talk about all these things. Okay. <laughs> all the things. So first of all, oh, the masks are coming off and that is such a hard word for me to say masks. Okay, <laughs> the masks <laughs> are coming off. I can't get through this reading. I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to be okay? I'm not sure. But truth is coming out and it is just phenomenal to watch society and watch how people are responding. Um, oh God, how do I put this? Responding in sort of a Pavlov's dog kind of way. You have your set belief system you know how you're supposed to react to things. You know what you've seen bad examples say, or you've witnessed how they've behaved. And so a lot of you are emulating that bad behavior. What do I mean? I mean being either misinformed or not informed at all. And yet you're out there screaming about some cause, screaming about some geopolitical thing, um, getting mad about things when you don't have all the backing. Ugh. Okay. Like we got touchy things going on in the world. And if somebody comes up and says, Hey, why are you out here? And you're like, duh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, I just knew I was supposed to come out here and yell about something. Please don't do that. Okay. I, we're not, none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. But if you're going to believe in something, know why you believe in it. What is behind it? You don't want to go out there and 
make everyone look bad. Do you feel me? So I, that's for like a very small percentage of you watching this video. But more than that, energetically speaking, right? We have people being on autopilot about how they respond to things and the truth is coming out. And this goes beyond any list. This goes beyond anything that might have even most likely <laughs> popped up in your brain just then. You're going to be seeing the truth about yourself. You are going to be catching yourself maybe um, lying to yourself. That just came through very strongly. So a lot of people are lying to themselves. This would be a great thing to ask in um, a personal reading. In what way am I lying to myself? In what way, you know, what am I avoiding? What, um, what about my perspective about self and about the world do I need to be aware of? So that would be really great. A 2024, I can't talk today. Just going to be so awesome to record today. <laughs> Whatever. 2024, your overview, energy portals, you know, all those kinds of things. What kind of energy are you contending with at this time and what can you do with it? Yes. So you have to be willing to listen. The angels are not mean. They also don't have egos, so they're pretty straightforward. So if you're a delicate little flower, shoot, just by watching one of my videos, you must know this ain't the place for you. I mean, come on, we, we don't play around with that. No way, no how. But a lot of this truth and kind of what we're touching on here is you will see, you know, your regular stuff. Like, where do I self-sabotage? Um, I've been lying to myself about, I just found out something so disturbing there's a place here, a restaurant here that I really love. And I would always get this little dipping sauce to go with my food. I looked up the nutritional value for it. And I said, come on, that's wrong. Come on, that can't be. All this fat assery over here <laughs> might come down to this damn sauce. Okay. Uh, so we, we got to stop lying to ourselves. <laughs> okay. I have been lying to myself about this. Okay. Um, lying to ourselves when we say we're okay. Uh, lying to ourselves when we say, you know what? I'm okay being strong and independent. That's awesome. Right? When maybe it's your time in your life where it's time to explore partnership. If, if that's something that, you know, has been kind of on your mind. Uh, and, and not pushing that away. Or, you know, what am I still in pain about now? more than anything. And during these announcements that I'm going to be bringing up later on, I will be discussing this in depth. So again, make sure you are subscribed. That way you know about the announcement, you know to where to go find this discussion about dark entities and what's really walking around and what these sightings are probably about. I've got the messaging from the angels. We ain't doing it here. No, we're not doing it here watch for that announcement. Okay. And then you can go there and listen to all of that. But more than anything, let's just say, you know, very generally darkness is not hiding. We are waking up. We are seeing it for what it is. We might be seeing, um, yeah, they're, they're saying the mask is coming off, uh, the facade, the facade is crumbling down which has been going on for quite some time, but now it's, it's, um, it's hitting hard now. Now it's a thing. <laughs> now it's like, <laughs> now it's, uh, dang, like I knew it was bad. I didn't know it was that bad. And this is going to be in part and thanks to social media. This is where people who are just not aware, just not aware whatsoever, coming out, saying things that, would be very, very telling. Now, we have a lot of what we would typically call toxic people, but this is really a, a, an epidemic of darkness working through people who have allowed that to be open, to happen. Um, overplaying their hand, their lies are exposed. It's a lot of this stuff, okay? Everything that you think is gonna happen, I would encourage you to take a beat, take a rest, get that out of your head because it's not gonna be that. Oh, but it's, you know, it's political, this, that, and the other, get rid of it. Okay. I promise you it's not what you think. And what's more, I feel like there could be, it's just a lot of clarification happening. So if you have somebody come back into your life, for example, and if you're one of those people who, you know, you forgive, 
because it's to release you, you know, all that stuff we talk about. Okay. Uh, but you end up also forgetting a little bit about someone, uh, and they come back in and they kind of lure you back in. They may communicate with you and you see everything there and you're, oh, I'm getting a ping. I ah, love it. Okay. So I got a ping in my ear. <laughs> That's usually a, a sign, at least for me, for my angels that, it's not just confirmation. It's usually not confirmation. It's more of like more information is coming in. So we'll, we'll get to it. Um, but yeah, like you're going to find that you have a far different reaction and it may be someone who writes to you to be self-righteous or to blame you for everything and whatever. And you look at it and go, okay, well, they haven't grown at all. Conversely, you may have somebody come and they're trying to sugarcoat a thing. They're love bombing and, they're doing, and you see right through it. Or someone, I'm, I guess I'm assuming this is all going to be in writing. I don't know how, but <laughs> somebody comes and they're yelling at you and they're blaming you for everything. And maybe before you would have been kind of thrown by that and upset. And now you're looking at, you're not desensitized. I want to make this distinction. You're not desensitized. Uh, to being upset about these types of things. It's just you have clarity around it and you see right through it. You know, you're going to start seeing through the baiting where people are trying to get you to have a reaction. Um, you're going to see the truth and it's going to be a hard truth. This could be something that's like, I love that person, but I see that this romantic partnership is not going to work out. Or uh, I like this job, but let's be honest, there's no room for growth here. Those types of things, very practical things could be coming up as well. But I'm telling you, like the lies are being exposed, okay? And it's not something to sit back and revel in. It's not something to sit back. You know, we always joke like, get your tea, like, <laughs> or get your tea while we listen to the tea. It's, it's, not, in, it's not enjoyable. This would be horrific humanitarian things that uh, come more and more into the light. And I'm going to guarantee you that if you approach any humanitarian crisis with a duality consciousness brain, which most people do, cause we're in a duality consciousness from a third dimensional ego consciousness level, you miss the mark. What does that mean? It means n no side is right. Ooh, don't say that. Don't say that. Ooh, we don't, I don't care what you like. Okay. You feel me? You feeling that? Yeah, feel it. Let it land. Because that's where we're headed. We're not allowing people to lie to us anymore. We're not allowing people to just come up and hand us a pamphlet and say, okay, if you're going to be a part of our club, this is what you believe and this is how you respond to things and there's nothing in between. Here's who we don't like. This is who we are against and therefore you must be against them too. Because the thing that is massively uh, missing from how people are responding to crises around the world would be critical thinking. That is a 3D thing. That is something we still have to implement because we are 3D creatures. You feel me? So that is part of it. We'll lay that down. Another message coming through, it's communication, communication, communication. And, uh, you know, a lot of this might be for some of you, I feel like it's going to be a little surprising. You know, if you're somebody, for example, who is getting taken advantage of by your boss, this is a part of the worldwide stage culture. You have your workers and then you have people who don't have to work, right? And the little workers are supposed to just be grateful that they can buy a little bit of food to have in their stomachs. Uh, and to have some clothes on their back and to have a roof over their head. That's where what your place in this world is, is to keep, you know, working like that. And that, oof, that just seeps right through. Oh man, then you get like somebody who's in charge, who treats people poorly and they take advantage, as I was saying. And you might suddenly find yourself not even thinking about it. <laughs> I know I was just saying, let's do some critical thinking, but it could be in certain moments where it is appropriate. You know, someone says, well, I'm, I'm going to need you to work this weekend and we're not going to give you overtime or a uh, classic thing. When I was working in corporate America, being available on your cell phone, 
you know, well, you get a salary, so you're supposed to be on call or whatever. I don't, you know, can I just share something? I worked for very high level people in, you know, for a good portion of my career. Uh, it was only there towards the end when I was sort of getting ping, pinged around the company that I started working for people who were more, well, like not necessarily CEO level, but somewhere in management somewhere else. And they were always the ones, not always, there's one who's the, the exception to this, but a lot of the people who were in the sort of lower ranks of executive level, they were the biggest babies. <laughs> like, you know, see, I, I don't, I don't recall working for a CEO who ever demanded my time. Maybe I just got lucky. I don't know. But they were always like, have a good weekend. And then I didn't hear anything from them until we came to work on Monday morning. They were fine. It was the other people who were like, well, I, I, I'm going to need you to do this. And I'm going to need you to come in just to sit here in case I need something. And I need you to come in and sit here in case I need photocopies. <laughs> right because they're too good to do their own photocopies when they're not even at like a very high level you know what I'm saying you know those kinds of things but you might find that you're just going I'm not available you know and, and you you just come out with it and there might be a little trouble around that so be careful in how you are communicating but you might find that you suddenly have again depending on the situation but you suddenly have um some sense of self where you just communicate exactly this is not working or if I'm going to be expected to be on call 24 7 then we need to renegotiate my salary you know you might be having those discussions now I'm not saying whether that's right or wrong for you to do especially this week but what I'm getting at here is the communication like there's some bit of truth that's coming out and that truth may be you know I'm tired of not getting paid right or I'm tired of not being respected you know I mean there's a lot of that as well so there's going to be some upheaval there's going to be upheaval around banks uh what's going to be coming back and I know a lot of you have probably been experiencing this I've been experiencing this too where like banks are trying to find any reason to charge a fee for example this is just a little small example trying to figure out any reason to charge a fee and we're already seeing this with some like certain companies, <laughs> not necessarily banks, but certain companies that have been sued and now they're having to return fees to people. I really, you want, you want a prediction. I don't usually do predictions, but here we go. I think number one, the system's going to get wiped. Somehow that might be, we know it's not a secret that some sort of cyber attack is imminent. You know, I mean, that will probably happen, but I feel like, um, Something happens where it all kind of gets wiped out and banks are going to be held accountable for their predatory practices. And it is incredibly predatory. So if you are sitting there and you can't figure it, like you made a payment, but it's not reflecting on something, like let's say you have a credit card bill and it's not reflecting, you call up and they're like trying to intimidate you. Just keep in mind, okay, just keep in mind, those people are probably not going to have jobs soon. Okay, like that's not to like revel in that again, like that's not the thing we're encouraging here, but don't let these things make you wobble because when you wobble in your energy field, that's where your soul light, if you want to see it this way, from a spiritual perspective, your soul light compresses and then you're just kind of like, whatever, you know, and you just let something come in and animate you that is not authentic to who you really are. This is where we have a lot of these people the responses to various situations out in the world are incredibly robotic. They are incredibly robotic and people have been programmed to respond in a certain way. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of compassion or love. It is hatred and anger disguised as love and compassion. And nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing could be further from the truth. I could go on and on about that. We'll save it for another time, okay? But this is the week where things are breaking open. You might get some hard news. Now, if you're somebody who has uh, been pretty toxic or unfair, or you've been a little robotic in how you approach things, you're on autopilot, whatever the case may be, you might get some hard feedback this week. And you're going to have to sit and question, okay, why did I do that? 
<laughs> right? Well, and, and you're going to you take the feedback. Take the feedback. If someone is setting a boundary with you, no, you do not have the right to just ignore it. Unless it's getting difficult talking about people and humanity and all this crap because <laughs> all this stuff because, <laughs> because it's so nuanced. It's so nuanced. And people who are toxic study stuff like this and then they learn to work around it to appear really good, you know, and all this stuff. But if someone is coming up and giving you feedback and they're not somebody who plays the victim, they're not somebody who, you know, is constantly trying to make you feel guilty or whatever, they don't usually give you feedback, then listen to it, okay? Listen to it, take it in, understand, yes, they have their perspective. Now, this would be very different if you have somebody who's constantly victim signaling, you know, trying to make up stuff to be mad about so that you have to fawn all over them. Okay. It's very different. So we got to get good at telling the difference between the two, but I want you to get geared up here. How do you get geared up? Well, you need to be doing a lot of unplugging. Uh, so that does not mean I, I'm sorry, narcissistic people, you show your true colors when we send out a message like this. I don't watch anything because I'm just too precious. I'm just too precious. No, you're self-centered, most of you who act like that. You're self-centered and you don't care about what's going on with other people, okay? Now, I'm not speaking to those of you who are in a dark place, you're like kind of in a low place and you can't really handle much more news. I am not talking to you. I'm talking to the people who are trying to mimic you so that they seem like they're good people or something. Like, we don't want to be delusional. We don't want to be in denial. But when I say unplug, that means maybe when you're waking up in the morning, going to bed at night, you make time for prayer and meditation. You have to be doing that. You have to be doing that. And you have to be, and I'm getting better at this too, aware of what's going into your body without being, I don't know, like super paranoid about it. I'm seeing quite a bit of that going around on social media where people are like, oh my gosh, this appliance emits a frequency. Look, there's a warning on it. it no kidding. Okay. <laughs> this is not new. I have a computer right here. I have lamps. I have a camera. There are microphones. There's electricity running through my walls and your walls. Okay. It all has a frequency. Is it great? Probably not. Okay. But unless you're going to go live at the top of a mountain with no power, even then, I mean, there are cell towers, there's all kinds of things. You're not going to avoid it. So what are you going to do? You adjust. And it doesn't mean adjust to like, okay, just say whatever happens is fine with us, but adjust your frequency so that you can handle whatever comes your way. It's the very same thing of fortifying yourself so that when things are going on, you are not falling apart. So this is something that's going to be a common theme until God knows when, all right? We have to be, if you're talking about preparing, you have to be spiritually prepared as well. I handle the spirituality side of things. Uh, people who are into fitness will be like, hey, you know, that's part of preparing as well. You need to be, uh, maybe not like cut, but like you have to be strong, right? You have to be strong enough or be able to run if you need to run. You, you see what I'm saying? This is just another piece of the puzzle and things that we need to be aware of right now. So we're, we're going to leave it there, I do believe. Uh, like I said, I have other things coming up. We'll get more in depth on very specific topics. Make sure you are following me here. And please remember that when you like, you share, you subscribe, you leave comments. It helps me out as a content creator. If you have noticed... There was a time where I was getting 100,000 views on a video. Now I'm lucky to break 3,000. Is that big of a leap because I'm boring? Maybe. Okay, and that's fine. Like, <laughs> I just show up. I do what I feel like I got to do. Whatever happens, happens. That's fine. Um, but that's not typically how that goes. If I was starting to be boring to some people, it would go from like 100,000 to like 60,000 views per video. That's one thing. Um, more than anything, I think right now is um, keeping this content 
away from people. Uh, and people are going to, you know, especially narcissistic people have their response to that and that's okay. Um, but we have to look at, I, I know how this industry works. Okay. I'm not stupid. So there's, there's something, there's something going on there. So please, if you want to support me and the work that I'm trying to do here, get these videos out there, leave your nice comments. Uh, if you want to troll, that's okay. Cause you know, trolling actually still draws attention to the messages. It's just not very nice energy. So just keep that in mind. Times are messy. We need this clarity. We need these types of messages to get out there and they are getting drowned out by very surface level, um, cheap trick types of spiritual videos. And don't just do this for me, do this for other, I've seen so many content creators who are amazing at what they do and they do various esoteric arts and they don't get near the views they should. Why? They're getting drowned out by, um, again, the parlor tricks. They're, they're, you know, the things that sort of, um, spark our base nature. Does he love me? What's he thinking of me right now? Is he coming back? Am I going to be a millionaire? Like, oh, oh, okay. The, and I'm sorry. I know this sounds dramatic, but listen to me carefully. The types of people who take that as spirituality are going to be the first ones knocking down your door in a crisis because they are not, they're short circuiting because they did not prepare. They did not fortify themselves. Okay. They are the ones that are going out into public and stealing other people's energy. Why? Because they never learn to make their own energy. They are constantly feeding. And I got, I got to tell you, the content creators who are putting that type of stuff out there, you can tell they're burned out. You can tell they're burned out because, and then they're really like, well, I got to keep going again. And I know that feeling. I definitely know that feeling, but that's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. And please be careful if you are listening to those types of readings as well. It's okay if you're taking it like, it's entertainment or whatever. Just don't treat that as that is your spiritual practice. Does that make sense? Okay. Email me, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. If you want to schedule a live reading, payment is due. I gave all the details in the beginning of the video. The other thing I will add on to that, if you reach out and, I, and you get put off because I said, you know, here's how you make a payment. Once you make the payment, we can schedule this live session and you disappear, you're blocked. Okay, because if you're already causing trouble just in, in the beginning here and you're not being respectful, you're going to be terrible to be on Zoom with. I said it. Do you need it again? You're going to be terrible to be on Zoom with. You are going to be the one that shows up 15 minutes late for a half hour reading and not even apologize. You know, you are going to be the one that shows up 15 minutes late and you don't apologize and expect me to make up that 15 minutes for you. We're not doing entitlement. We're not doing that. It's a new day. Okay. Welcome. The sun has risen. Okay. We're not doing that anymore. If you want the standard reading, those you book on my website, please do not go to my website and go through all, like all the instruction here. And then you go to the website and you go to all this trouble to find the submission form to fill that out, to request a live session. The website is for standard readings, angelsouls444.com. Be mindful of how much time you are booking. Keep in mind about, as I said at the top of the reading, um, about 15 minutes per question. If it's an in-depth, I mean, it depends. I mean, if it's like just like you need a little bit more, it's about 15 minutes. If it's a quick question, sure, you can throw that in there. You know, you, you'll, you'll have a feel for that. So I hope that's clear. Um, it may not be clear because we're in very muddled energy right now. Um, a lot of things going on. We're doing our best. And let's see how this goes. I've got a lot of work to do around this. I will take this message where it will be heard. Because I'm not going to drown in a sea of phonies. <laughs> I'm not going to drown in a sea of narcissists and sociopaths. I will go where I'm being hurt. We'll leave it there. I'm sending you love and take care of yourselves out there. Bye-bye.